So we just we've never never done this with her, and uh, no one's ever done it with me either. Well, to think of it. surprise! It's your <laughs> yeah, employee right. interview. It is not my <laughs> yes, it is. What? Yep, it's your turn now. All right. You too are still an employee. Well, let me finish it. <laughs> what? Are you serious? Yeah. Surprise! Employee interview time for you. So today we're conducting an employee interview <laughs> with one of our most important employees, Russell Ralston. So this is a good, I'm glad that we're getting this on tape because Russell tends to think that he is not an employee anymore. <laughs> and I have now on video confirming that you are indeed still a part of that. Can you be an employee if you don't get a check? Get a check. I don't get a you check. don't get a check. <laughs> I'll work on that. I'll take that under. I never see any money whatsoever. Oh my gosh! Yeah. It's like, why do I do this? Well, it's for the love of the dip. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Well, so as an employee of Dip Stop, mm. tell us a little bit about how how long have you been with the company? Dang. <laughs> Long enough for this to go white. Oh my goodness! It used to be black. That's true. I mean, you were you were my age, basically, yep. when you started the company, yep. right? Yep. Which is, I will say, that is hard to imagine. Yep. I think about. I have a lot of respect for you, because when I think about what you were dealing with, yeah, there was one big difference. You also had two no children. No money with two kids. Right. I mean, so, that's what I'm like. I can't imagine. No internet. Yeah, no internet, y'all. No cell phone. Dip stop is pre-internet. Yeah, and uh, that's the part that gets me so much because you couldn't research anything. Yeah, I mean, I literally tell people I'm like most things I know I learn through Google. Yeah. Oh, so, this is the YouTube. worlds that you. Yeah. Keyboard fingertips, mm -hmm. you know, and so. Yeah, and y'all have heard, heard this story before, but I used to farm in a big way. And back in the 80s, you know, you couldn't make a living at farming. And uh, and I really don't like not making a living. You know, that's just no fun at all, especially when you got two little kids uh, wanting to grow up. So ended up just deciding I'm done with farming and uh, had to do something. And I have never had a job. Yeah, actually. you just work for yourself. Yeah. yeah, I always work for myself. So I was always interested in mail order and uh, interested in production and, you know, repetitively doing things. Uh, and so everybody in the world, as far as we were concerned, dipped and everybody wanted to quit. So I decided to make my own non tobacco snuff and so you know took on a lot started in january and full time uh which was you know kind of a change coming out of the whole farming thing and so concurrently took on product development mm -hmm. research product development and all that that contained took on branding, mm -hmm. took on production, and took on marketing. And sales, I guess. Well, that's marketing. That sales. came, yeah. <laughs> Thank goodness. And so, <coughs> and we're still this way today, or at least I am. I mean, there was no, I can't do this. It was, I'm going to do mm -hmm. this. And I don't have a clue what I'm doing, but I will find out yeah, I what can to figure do. it out. Yeah, and you know, typically I think they say it's supposed to be X number of years before new business makes money. Well, I didn't have that luxury, and so I launched it um, in October, I think, in the September October at Ag Expo in Moultrie, Georgia, which I did a little video on that. I don't know if you've seen it, but um, last year. And uh, launched it there, and by the end of the year, we were in the black. 
That's a big deal. That's a big deal. That's no. big because you were a one man show. Yeah. Well, and mom answering phones. Mm, kind of. Yeah, so, well, <laughs> Shipping yes. it off the back porch. Yeah, yeah. We, we didn't make it in our house. I've never done that. I set up a little building to make it in, you know, and yeah. with all the food safe and all that stuff, even back then, which was not required like it is today. Mm -hmm. But I set it up anyway and set up equipment and had, you know, had help, you know, used Auburn University or Eagle. Or Eagle. <laughs> <laughs> you know, since that time I've done a lot of other things too. Mm -hmm. Back off allowed me to do other businesses, so I've had other businesses too. And some of that, a lot of that is to the detriment of back off because you know, you get your focus going different directions. Mm -hmm. And so we just kind of grew a little bit of, you know, over all those years. And then uh, Anna came in and uh, we grew like crazy. Mm -hmm. So so now, now, almost 30 years later, what's, what's the most rewarding thing that you've seen through Back Off? Oh. Uh, well, it's multifold. There you go. Multifold. <laughs> multifold. <laughs> Is that a word? I'll take it. <laughs> it's not twofold, it's multifold. multifold. <laughs> <laughs> you heard it first here. Uh, that's right. <laughs> Don't you forget it. And so, mm. no, I, I greatly enjoy uh, seeing younger people. Mm -hmm be successful and enjoy their job and grow as people and we've been able to grow a lot of people and some of them go on to get other jobs and move off or whatever which that's always aggravating <laughs> <laughs> but uh, you know I'm very proud of my my group that's succeeding and growing and so you know we're all about sustainability and so we are working real hard to grow within uh, so that it provides for people on down the line. I'm very interested to see how all this marketing ties in now with all this video. New stuff. fangled internet, yeah. social media. Yeah, it's crazy. <laughs> it's just crazy. Uh, you know, it's amazing to me. I mean, today we got an order for uh, many trillions of kids. Oh, yeah. <laughs> We had a slight, <laughs> a little glitch. Little glitch in the system. We had an order with ordered. a number this long. <laughs> it was like cans. somebody like, online ordered five trillion cans. <laughs> it would have been better if it had been one can for this many dollars. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, that's what really, and I enjoy seeing the stuff that we've done. People enjoying it. Yeah. You know, mm -hmm. and. You know, I can truthfully say in my heart now that, without a doubt, I believe we are the best on the market ever mm -hmm. uh, of anybody else. And we got all these little competitive guys come up. That's not really competitive, and uh, they are not even legal. You know, but we're still the best of all them. And another thing that we've done that I'm proud of. Mm -hmm. is we have never sat still. We are always right. trying to do better, to make something better, make something yeah. different, produce it in a different way. And mm -hmm. I know that's unique. Well, that was going to be my company. next question for you was, I mean, I know when we have conversations, there's... <laughs> excited about it. My new can. Go. I mean, my new cup. Oh, my God. But anyway, when we have conversations, I know there's times where it's like, we've got a product or whatever, packaging, any, anything that goes in the business that's it's working fine. Um, you know, but we'll have conversations around, hey, can we make this better? How can we make this better? How can we make the flavor pop more? Um, and I mean, I think that that says a lot about who you are but I mean what's your what's your drive behind that like what makes you want to keep making things better like why instead of just I think it was my childhood oh yeah 
<laughs> We're going deep. No, I'm just... How does that make you feel? <laughs> right. I think it was my rejection of the pig prices back in the eighties. <laughs> pig and soybean prices. <laughs> uh, I I just want to see the customers enjoy it mm-hmm. really, and uh, I don't you know since my name's on the company. I don't want to put junk out. Yeah. You know, I, I I know that we put out the absolute best product we know how to put out mm-hmm. at the moment. Mm-hmm. But we don't want to stop there. Yeah. You know, so you know we're constantly always looking at uh, different ways or better ways of doing things. And I can truthfully say we've never sat still. Mm-mm. We're always we always have a lot of irons in the fire. A lot of changing. Yeah. You know, and so people reject change mm-hmm. a lot. Mm-hmm. You know, uh, but you know if you don't change, you die. And yeah. so we just keep keep going. You know, which is cool to watch the process now. Yeah, yeah. Now that it's settled in a little bit, it's fun. Mm-hmm. I mean, it's always got its challenges, but it's fun. So, he likes to say that he's retired. I am. <laughs> I, I am in the process of retiring. Nobody believes that. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, hmm. Uh, I don't know. I mean, I don't know. I can't imagine back off without you. That's for sure. Sometimes I can't either. That's the problem. 